If your Slack channels are getting crowded or noisy or people are asking the same or common questions a lot over time, I'm going to show you how to streamline and automate that a little bit using Slack's native workflow builder automation tool. This can be done by anyone regardless of your experience level with Slack. So let's jump into it. So here I'm in my help marketing channel and I want to help streamline some of the incoming redundant questions that get asked. So I'm going to build an automation called marketing requests. First, I'm going to head over here to automations and I'm going to click in. Then I'm going to head over to the upper right hand corner and click new workflow, build workflow. Now I'm inside Slack's native automation tool workflow builder. So how do I want to start the workflow? Choosing an event is basically a trigger. What will trigger this request workflow in the channel? For the purposes of this example, it's going to be from a link in Slack, and I'll share more about that later. Click continue. So it's going to start from a link in Slack, and then what? I want it to do the following things. So I'm going to add steps. For the purposes of this video, it's going to be collect info in a form, because remember, we want to streamline the request requests and questions that come in to the help marketing channel. So I've labeled the form marketing requests and I want to add a question. What is the urgency level of your request? And for this, I'm going to do a drop down menu and I want to indicate low, medium, or high. Then that looks good. Then I want to add another question. Please share more details about your request. And I want to put this one as a rich text composer because maybe the person submitting the request needs to do a bulleted list or make something bold, stuff like that. Click done, click save. So now we have most of our workflow built. It starts from a link in Slack. I'll get back to that. Then it's going to collect information in a form from your colleague. After your colleague submits the form, it's going to go into a channel. It's going to send a channel message, the channel where the workflow was used. Because remember, this is the help marketing channel. So we want these requests to go to help marketing. Notice here in the text box how the forms, questions, and variables from the responses have already been populated. So I've just done a little bit of cleanup and formatting and indicated what the message will show in the channel when someone submits the form. In part two, I'll show you how to 